many of you are using Apollo to build your lists. And, and I agree that Apollo is a great source of data because of the filters that it has. It enables you to build people lists and company lists. However, one of the problems with Apollo is that you're restricted to the amount of uh, leads that you can export from it. Or if you do want to export leads from Apollo, you do have to pay a lot more. So in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround to the Apollo export and then what you need to do with that data because not a lot of the emails from Apollo that say they're verified are actually verified. So I'm gonna show you which tools you can use to, to help you with that. So just to explain the situation a little bit more, let's say you're on the basic plan of Apollo, which is $49 a month. Uh, based on where you are, the pricing could be different. Um, and that only gives you 250 export credits a month. With $99 a month, you only get 1,000 export credits and they do have an additional um, uh, way to customize where you can put uh, additional ones here. So 2,500, but that's going to start costing me 125 a month. So one of the workarounds for this is a tool called Export Apollo. There's actually a few different variations of this and it all works in a similar way. But you can see that the scraping credits, which essentially is an export, uh, is a lot cheaper. So it's uh, $48 for 10,000, or if you need a bit more bulk, it's $98 for 25,000. So how does it work? So in here, I've got a list of people in Apollo. Uh, worth noting that Export Apollo only works on people. It doesn't work on companies at the moment. But in this just example, uh, I'm looking for uh, chief people officers and head of HR in the United States of company sizes of 100 to 500. Um, and there I've got 2,100 results. So I would have to be paying a lot in Apollo to be able to export all of this data. But then all you need to do is take the URL of the search, go to ex export Apollo, of course, log in, sign up, do what you need to do, put your list, uh, name, list name here. So um, HR uh, US, 100 to 500, whatever name you want to give it, paste in the URL and then number of contacts. I always just put in 1,000, uh, sorry, it's 2,100. So it's going to cost me 2,100 of the credits that I have available. Then uh, the other thing that I want to keep off is I don't want to scrape only available emails because we're going to look at a different way to find those emails. Um, email verification, I'm going to skip at the moment as well and then um, company name cleaning and extra data, I'll put that on. All I have to do now is hit scrape and it's going to run the export for me and I'm gonna get an email, usually with a, within about 20 minutes. Here's one I prepared earlier. So this was for head of people, HR, the same filters, but I just picked New York because I didn't need this data. This is just for the example. And what you'll see here is you've got all of the information about each of the people results, as well as an email status. So you'll see that there's lots of unavailable and there's lots here that say verified. And then if we scroll down, there'll be unavailable. There'll also be some other filters in here like catch all or not available. One of the things that I found in Apollo is that even if Apollo tells me that an email is verified, when I double check it, uh, it's not always accurate. And I lose around 30 to 40% of the total prospects because of that issue. So one of the other tools that I recommend is Lead Magic. Lead Magic has an email finder. So if I just go, oh, sorry, go here, email finder. So you can add the CSV in here and it will find those emails and then email validation. Now email validation is checking to see whether the email is an email that's safe to send. And with deliverability at the moment being so hard and harsh, it's really important that you get this right. And it can make the difference between sending a campaign out to 800 people versus sending a campaign out to only 500 people. I would much rather be sending campaigns to 500 emails that I know are valid than 800 and running the risk that a lot of these will be uh, catch-all emails. So uh, the email validation works, you upload the CSV, it, it then works behind the scenes for you and you get uh, some results. Here's one I did earlier, so or the other month now. So I had 2,385 emails of which only 66% of those emails were valid, 22% were catch-all, 8% were inv uh, invalid, and 5% were unknown. So I only want to email the 66% that were valid, but you can see that my 2,300 list of people 
has gone to 1,563, I think that says. So that's reduced the total amount of email that I can, pro uh, amount of people I can prospect to. That's why I recommend that you run a LinkedIn only campaign to those people who are uh, a fit in terms of prospects, but you just can't validate the email. Um, but yeah, so that's just the process I go through. You can obviously automate this with uh, tools like Make, Zapier, and even Clay you can use for this as well. But not everybody that um, watches my videos uses Clay, and I know a lot of people use Apollo. So Apollo, exportapollo.com, and then Lead Magic are the three tools that I recommend that's gonna help you navigate around the Apollo uh, export limits and then also increase the accuracy of your data. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.